What's up guys, Iggy here with Faltech Unlimited. I'm going to be doing a Glock 19 Battleship Gray IWB left hand with the Olight PL2. I'm going to show you how uh, I block it and show you how I'm going to make it. And we'll go from there. So, like always, mount your flashlight. Generally, <laughs> there's only really one way to do this one, so I'm going to bet that the customer has it the same way. But you would like to verify with the customer that they have everything uh, the same as you because otherwise it won't fit but in all technicality with this setup you can actually you know you could move it forward because this body is the same the entire way so technically you could have it flush and it would still work as long as this mount is in the same spot so but we're going to move it all the way back because we're going to do it that way but it's going to be left hand foamy half sweat shield no cant with the PL Mini 2 RMR cut and suppressor height sight. So it's gonna be a pretty cool build. It's gonna be uh, Battleship Gray, which is this color, uh, color right here. And looking forward to it. Got my blocking out, got my, let's see, this is the dowel I use for um, suppressor height sights. You can see the difference. I believe this is half inch, this is quarter. I sand down a flat spot so it doesn't roll on you. And I cut out the center to fit right over the front post. But we're going to get this going. The way we're going to do this is you're going to want as much of the flashlight touching the holster as possible. So if I do it this way, not a lot's touching, which means that right here will be the uh, tension on it. And it'll, it'll be able to wiggle and we don't want that. So we're going to flip it and do it this way. And that way it'll give us more on the flashlight. So it'll be, uh, it'll look pretty good. I'm going to bump that right there. Let's get some tape out. Let's see here. Yep. All right. So we're going to be, here it is. Let's get this on here too. I use this little green piece for balancing this piece of blocking, and that is for the um, slide release. But we're not going to put this all the way up, butt it against that. We're going to drop it just a little bit, square it up, and we will lock it in place right there. If this is, um, if you're using a customer's flashlight, I recommend putting tape down on the flashlight. If you're using metal blocking like I do, if you're using wood, it shouldn't be an issue, but the metal will, or can and will scratch that. Uh, so if you're using a customer's supplied flashlight just make sure you're not putting stuff directly on it because you will scratch it right I'm gonna leave this off just for now and I'll show you why in a little bit and then instead of putting the strap over like I normally do I'm just gonna flip it and do the other side now it's for Glock 19 23 or 32 so we're not gonna put in for the um, ambidextrous slide release the only one that has that is the 45 and the gen 5 19s but i mean it's a half sweat shield but our foam is going to be right here so it really won't hurt to block it so maybe we will and i'll show you how to do that so for here again we're gonna go right about right about there and these are these are my flashlights i own oh god quite a bit so i don't really care if I destroy them, uh, you're not going to break them in the press. You will you will break them if you drop them too many times. Like I have broken, if I could find it. Here's my TLR1. And you can tell I broke the switch off. And that's the battery compartment inside. I could probably warranty it out, but I really don't care because it still makes holsters. All right, again, let's get our five layers on here. Then I like to take a thicker piece and right around where the trigger guard is, I'll go all the way around. And if you're asking, hey Iggy, where did you get your blocking? Oh, I have a piece right here that shows me what it is. If I could get the tape off right here. But go to your local uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever you have. 
All right, and this is flat bar aluminum by Everbuilt. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it literally has no, oh yeah, it does, it's covered. This particular one, which is not this one, is two inches wide by eighth inch thick, and this was 36 inches long. So eighth inch is what my aluminum blocking is and all this stuff. It's thick enough to where it won't really bend that much on you, which is why uh, the reason why I use it. All my blocking for foamies, all this blocking in here is all made from the eighth inch aluminum at Home Depot. And these are cheap. They're anywhere between like seven and eleven dollars for you know three feet of it. And the reason why I went with aluminum is so obviously the softer metal, easier to cut and mold. And I, I did literally all this with Dremels and the old saw I used to have and whatnot. So as long as you have cutting blades, metal cutting blades, you'll be fine. All right, back to this. Uh, we're going to do, before I put the sides on, we're going to go ahead and get our suppressor height blocking done. So the widest tape. And if you protrude this past a little bit, it would actually help with that little horn that you get. And just remember to keep it centered. And put a lot of tension down on the tape. And make sure it's past the RMR line. I have it marked where the RMR actually sits. Okay, now that that's in, I'm gonna go ahead and this is gonna go right here. And our foamy clip, it's actually going to be on the other side, so it's going to be blocked for it anyway because it's going right here. And we'll cut up half sweat shield. So because there is going to be a sweat shield and we don't know if it's going to be a Gen 5 Glock or not, which generally they'll put it in the notes that it's a Gen 5 because they're smart enough to know that regular, like a Gen 4 previous holster will not fit a Gen 5. Or if it does, it's very, very snug. All right, so we'll throw that there. We'll take our other piece and throw that right in its spot. And the sweat shields I do, I have an option on my website. So you can either do a full sweat shield, a half sweat shield, or zero sweat shield. When I do a zero sweat shield, it's when it comes off the trigger guard and then goes over and then comes back down. Half trigger guard or half sweat shield is from the trigger guard to the um, the full one is right to there, so the half is in the middle. So I go to the not the end of the frame or the end of the slide. I go to the end of the back sight. So the middle obviously would be the back sight to the trigger. So it would be right here. So we got your full, your middle, and here no. So get that going and then again. This is going to be here. This is a no cant. So we'll mount that where we want. And this is RMR cut and suppressor height sight. So we know that we're going to be cutting down to about here and then over. So right where it is is actually perfect. Because our trigger is right here. So we won't cut off any of that. Now, if you have a foamy my phone this is going here it is going to hang off a little bit of this so we want to make sure that we're not doing that because if you're not getting 100 percent contact right here it'll actually be easier to come off your belt so what i do is i'll take a piece of blocking and i'll put it i'll put it with it Technically, we could go smaller, so I'm going to look into smaller stuff, which I don't think I have. I 
I might though. Actually, I got this. That'll work. So we'll take this and we'll just go all the way up. So <laughs> pretty much all of this will be hidden underneath the foamy. All right, and then we have to make sure uh, I have a plate, otherwise we're gonna have to make it. So I'm gonna look through my pile of plates because I never put any back. We're gonna get our retention plate on because this is gonna be a taco style. And get those marks off because they will transfer to the new one. But I'll see if I have one. We'll throw that in there, press it, and then bring it out. The holster's coming out. Great. I just pulled it out of the press. It looked good. You're going to see it in a second. But I wanted to show you something. In between, and while that was in the press, I decided to go ahead and powder coat a couple more magazines since I'm trying out a few uh, techniques and a couple different things I'm trying. But check this out. It's not quite as cool as the uh, glow-in-the-dark green one, but I have a glow-in-the-dark red one, and I'm currently charging it. Uh, charging it as in it's sitting under a spotlight right now. But check this out. Reds. This one's a regular powder coat, and you see how this one's more grainy. This has the uh, glow-in-the-dark in it. So the other one is right there. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But we got red, blue, gold, green, OD, and these beautiful metallic purple magazines. So I'm gonna, I might put these on my website. I don't know. Powder coat seems to be holding up pretty well. They could go in and out of magazine wells. And I got quite a bit more to try out. But as I keep going, I'm going to keep posting updates and whatnot. If you're on my Facebook, then you'll see all those and whatnot. But here's the magazine. Here's the holster. As you see, it looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and bust it out. It was in the press for a lot longer than eight minutes. But... Is this okay? Because, like I said, I decided to throw some powder coat down and post up a car I had for sale. And I haven't even eaten dinner yet. All right, let's check this out. Don't forget, don't accidentally throw out your blocking. You'd be very upset. All right, so this is... Half sweat shield, no can't. On this side. Line it up. Figure out where your trigger is. Half sweat shield. RMR cut. And we know our RMR goes to, that's perfect right where it is. So we'll come up right there. So bam, uh, with the Olight series, I like to have a retention point prior and then a retention point after. So we're gonna put one here. And you know what, let's go down a little bit more. We'll go one right here and we'll go one right here. And don't forget, it's easier to drill the foamy mark. And I have a plastic foamy up here, but apparently underneath something. Go ahead. Clean your holes. Nobody likes a dirty hole. <laughs> All right. And we might come out just a little bit so we have plenty of room around that. Or 
we're gonna go ahead and cut it like this. All clean, all cut, all sanded. We're gonna get the hardware in. Check the fitment. Ooh, I like that. All right. Add in your hardware. So in this case, it's quarter inch posts, quarter inch rubbers, and then I believe these are three eighths. I could be wrong though. But since this is not adjustable. Throw on some Loctite. And it was a 1.5 inch foamy. Square it up. And make sure that the screw is not protruding inside. Otherwise you'll scratch the customer's firearm and they won't be too happy with you. But there is a left-handed IWB for the Glock 19 with PL Mini 2. Happy bending.